All right, so we got Zelda Tears of the Kingdom best highlights, built and funny moments number thirty one. Let's get to the video. Cool engineering. So See what this is about man. Design challenge for June. Who can make the most ridiculous? Hey, I'm winning the design challenge with my eyes Little closed. On YouTube has jumped into the challenge feet first and created this Hudson dance show generator. Oh! Dance show generator? What? Okay. <laughs> Okay, now nah, that's sick. That's nice. A little toaster. That's nice. Shout out to you, bro. Seen Home Alone. It looks like it draws great inspiration from Kevin's <laughs> dance party. <laughs> oh, okay. I get. I get it. Uh, okay. I guess you can say that. I was gonna give like a, like a William Shakespeare concert type thing. <laughs> a William Shakespeare you performance. Yourself wanting to be in the middle of a Hudson sandwich. He also has a machine for that. What type of contraption is this? So yesterday we talked about a big breakthrough in vehicle design discovered yeah. by Mr. Sage, Tumbleweed. Sarania has been refining his one fan flying machine for some time now, and this Tumbleweed discovery has led to a huge breakthrough. Uh-oh. Okay, I mean, this, this is all right. I mean, it's not nothing really to... Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? That's too low. That's too low. This build uses a rear wing made up of six tumbleweeds, then the stabilizers to either side using bow coblin horns and korok fronds attached to the end. But before you rush to build this thing, Sorinir has made another breakthrough. Okay, what's the breakthrough? Using the learnings from the tumbleweed build, he's managed to figure out a superior build that doesn't use tumbleweed at all. And he's mm. finally managed to achieve passive neutral stick. Okay, wow, that looks way it better. It vertically and it dives. It dives as well. If you spiral on your descent, you can achieve a vertical landing. It even functions. As a okay, that's and sick. I like that. Down. That's sick. I like that. I, I like the progression in it. One I like the best that. Things about the build is it uses early game materials. Sorinir was kind enough to provide some screenshots showing you how to build it. The build hey, shout out to him, man. Coblin horns and three Korok fronds, so it's pretty much available immediately after the tutorial area. Oh, okay. Once built, it costs just 30 Zonite to auto build, but the fronds and horns are pretty common if you want to bring that cost down. Tired of okay. having his day ruined by gloom hands, Kenju decided to turn the sizzle aimbot. Own hand creation, he's calling the left hand of Raru. <laughs> hey, he's dodging it though. Hey, that aimbot is going crazy. That aimbot is sizzling right now, bro. Cooking. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's five lasers on one thing. It's over. Black ties may have gotten a little overzealous with the rockets. Uh oh. What are you doing? She gonna take off like a. Okay. Ooh. Okay. The devs even put a wall here so this wouldn't happen. So the dye shop can be annoyingly shadowy, making it difficult <laughs> to see what colors actually look like on your armors. Brian installed his own lighting. <laughs> the sound was crazy. Oh. Geography is experimenting with Whoa, what the is this? Whoa. Packer using a new glitch called Fuse <laughs> Now, Ooh. when they use their shield, it activates the Zonai device. Oh. By holstering their shield, it stops the Zonai device. Oh. Is it like, is it going like, to fire? Oh my god. Hey, knocked them back. Oh my god. <laughs> But wait, is it good? Uh oh, behind you. Things like cannons to create remotely triggered weaponry. So you just use, like, so you just use your shield to just fire something off. We're probably just scratching the surface in terms of what kind of machines this can help create. So keep an eye on this one. Okay. 
Oh my god, this reminds me of like you guys ever been to like a uh... learn how to do this glitch. Limcube has a YouTube video with a pretty great tutorial and an explanation of how everything goes. You guys ever been to like uh to that video in the description? Like an inflatable like park whatever? So you jump over to the things. Oh YouTube, man, I love that. A classic car out of Zonai devices. I almost jumped out of my chair. Ooh. Okay, little, little 19 little 1980s. My bad, sorry. 1860s car. Nice. Okay. This is sick. I like that. A little Rolls Royce door. Okay, nice. Let's go. So here's an interesting find. Oni is using the standard two fan hover bike. Now watch what happens when you add your Novo. This thing can barely stay in the air. What was the... Charge it! So pro tip, your Novo actually seems to add weight to your vehicles. I mean, but yeah, you do have like a big like rolling boulder on your Doing vehicle it. bro whipping out the wind waker again i love this tune project pat has built what he's calling the wind fish Jeez. okay link the build does use a wing which will disappear after some time but once it does the craft will just glide gently back into the water hmm okay that's fire i like that hey bro listen bro we got we got future engineers playing zelda bro Man, link the pirate, bro. Consider this your jump scare warning. <laughs> what jump scare? Oh! Oh! F I can't lie, I'll quit the game right there, bro. Soul small wheel motor. The wheel turns a cooking pot that has a propeller attached. I can't lie, he he gave us a warning. I still got scared. That design and found a brilliant way to pilot any bands looking to get to the Great Fairy. God, I hate these guys. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Guys. That's it. Oh man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed Zelda. Tears of Kingdom best highlights, builds, and funny moments. I'll see you guys later for the next one. I'm out. And